One of my favorite and most used features on the HomePod is Intercom. And soon, coming with iOS 16.4, we'll be able to utilize Intercom in our shortcuts and automations, opening up all kinds of possibilities. I'll show you exactly what it looks like and even set up a couple of example shortcuts here today, showing some great ways to utilize this awesome new feature. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane, if you're new here, and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home, smart home, with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. So iOS 16.4 public beta is out now, and there's a few new things coming, like new emojis, and they're even bringing back that HomeKit architecture upgrade that they pulled not too long ago. I made a whole video about that before they pulled it, actually. I'll put a link to that below in the description if you wanna check out that video next. But anyways, the thing that really caught my eye from iOS 16.4 beta is the new addition of an intercom action to Siri shortcut. So this is something myself and I think many others have wanted for quite a while. See, until now, there's really been no good way to make Siri say custom things on your HomePod through automations or shortcuts, you know, unless you're using like a pre-recorded clip or Apple Music and stuff like that, which is really not the best method uh, by any means. So now we can add intercom actions to our shortcuts and have Siri say really anything we want. And what's really powerful about this is that the intercom action can actually receive input from your shortcut so the output can be dynamic, if that makes sense. So for example, you could set an automation, let's say that triggers every day at 5 p.m. that will get the weather forecast, the events on your calendar for the evening, and then use intercom and have Siri announce all that, you know, tell you that your work day's over, read back all that information over your home pods, which is really cool. The intercom action allows you to choose which rooms or even which zones you want to announce to, which I love. For example, you can announce things only to the home pods upstairs or only to one room or to the whole house if you want. Now, one very important factor for all my smart home people out there is that the intercom, this intercom action is only available via personal shortcuts and automations, not home automations. Uh, so that means that at least at the time of this recording, you cannot trigger an intercom action from a HomeKit automation or using HomeKit's convert to shortcut feature. This only works as personal shortcuts and personal automations. I really, really hope that changes and you know, this is still in beta and I'd imagine this is something that should be able to run on a HomeKit hub just the same. So fingers across that Apple will bring this option to our home automations very soon in the near future. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on social media because I'll definitely let you know if that becomes an option. But nonetheless, this is still a great step and opens up the door for some great new possibilities with our shortcuts and personal automations. So what I'm gonna do today is just create a couple of examples to um, you know just show you some of the possibilities uh, kind of show you what's possible um, and how I might use this maybe it'll spark some ideas on how you can utilize this in your life I want to create a shortcut basically that will check to see if my daughter is awake in the morning and if not send her an intercom message good morning Macy it's time to get up and get ready so this shortcut will see if her lights are on and if they are, it'll just confirm to me saying that she's awake and she's getting ready for school. And if not, the shortcut will turn on the lights and it will send that custom intercom message to her room only. And that can even include like the date, the weather, things like that if we want. Uh, and then it'll confirm to me that it's been done so I can kind of just go shower, whatever, get ready myself and know that she's getting ready for school awesome. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna get my iPad out right here and we're gonna get started. All right, so we're gonna open up shortcuts here and we're just gonna create a new shortcut. Now I have noticed too, there are some bugs. Again, this is the beta version that I'm using right here. So you might see uh, I've noticed the shortcuts app will crash every now and then, so that might happen, uh, but we'll roll with it and I think we'll be good. So let's see, let me rename this. I'm gonna call this Macy Wake Up. Uh, that's my daughter's name, so I'm gonna use this again to make sure she's awake in the morning. So the first thing I wanna do is check to see if she's awake. Uh, so we're just gonna use an if action 
And let's see, regular if right here. So we're gonna look for if, we can tap on this, select an accessory, and I'm gonna look for her room. And every morning when she gets up, she turns on her twinkly dots. So I'm gonna choose that. And we're gonna change this to is on. So if, on, if it's on, then I know she's awake and everything's good to go. Don't need to intercom her or do anything else. Uh, so I'm gonna put a show results action right here to just say if it's on, All right, and getting ready for school. So no further action is needed and that'll just let me know if her dot, twinkly dots are on, she's awake, I don't need to worry about it. I can go ahead and get in the shower, do what I need to do to get ready. Uh, and But otherwise, this is where we wanna send the intercom message. So we can now look for this new intercom message right here and we can put this in here. So uh, this is really awesome, uh, again, loving this. And you can see all the options here. So I've got a couple of HomeKit homes. Uh, you can see my restored home, uh, but this is my main home. And these are actually zones right here. So you can intercom to specific zones, which could be a group of rooms. So you can like upstairs, you can intercom to all the upstairs home pods, however you have that set up in your home. Of course, you can also intercom to individual rooms as well as the entire home. So it kind of defaults to the entire home. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose Macy's room. So intercom, it kind of tells you dinner is ready as the little um, default one right there. But you can type in whatever you want here uh, it, to, to intercom, and it'll be kind of the Siri voice that goes through to that intercom. But uh, I want to say, good morning. It's time to get up and get ready. Uh, and but what's cool is we can take this a little bit further using shortcuts So like I mentioned earlier, you can actually use kind of like dynamic input and stuff like that for your shortcuts So let's kind of touch on that a little bit right here Let's go ahead and get the time so we can tell her what time it is um, Just so she knows in her head. Okay, it's this time I need to get up. So let's use get date So we'll put this here and then uh, in here, now one of the things I've noticed was, uh, and it's probably a beta issue, is this the magic variable right here, where you can usually pick a magic variable has not been working with intercom. So if you select it, it's not working for whatever reason. Uh, so you can choose down here, we see date comes through. Uh, and I want to, I want that to come through as just the time, so short format, shows you an example here. I don't want the date. You could give her the date too, um, but I'm just gonna give her the time and we're gonna just go, actually let me cut that and paste, good morning. Let's put it right here, it's the time and time to get up. So it'll be like, it's 6 a.m. and time to get up and get ready to Macy's room. So looking good so far. So you see how you kind of use that dynamic information based on other factors in your intercom, which is really cool. Let's add a little positivity here to start our day. It's gonna be a great day. And she, she actually is probably gonna hate getting this intercom message every day, so it'll be kind of motivation for her to actually get up when her, uh, when her alarm goes off. And then she won't even get this if she's already up. So good motivation there. So it's gonna be a great day. Something else I'd like to do in the automation is maybe turn on those lights that she normally turns on just to kind of help her wake up. So we can look for home and we can put, uh, Nope, not that one. We want control Watley home. So after the intercom message or kind of as that's going, we can turn on those twinkly dots. Looks good. So we can actually run this. If you're near the home pod, you can test it out. It'll sound good. And it turned on those lights. So one more thing I would like to do is just another, another kind of show results right here after this runs and we're gonna say, all right, so boom. And now it should actually skip this 
because, and tell me this, because we just turned on the lights last time we run it. So if we test it now, let's see what happens. Boom, it looks like Macy is awake and getting ready for school. Uh, good to go. So that's if she's already up. Now I can, let's go to the home app and let me go to, let me go to Macy's room. Let's turn those off. Let's try that again. Good morning, Macy. It's time to get up and get ready. It's 2.27 p.m. It's gonna be a great day. I've sent the intercom message and turned on Macy's lights. Done, boom, good to go. I can now hop in the shower and get ready. So this works great. I'm gonna love using this one every day. Kind of simplifies the things that I do every morning with what, just one button tap. Uh, but now I'm gonna show you just one more to really drive home the power of this capability. Now this one would be great for a morning automation. Uh, maybe you run it every morning at a certain time, uh, you know, while opening your home kit shades, turning on the lights, things like that. Or even better, you can actually trigger this one when you snooze your alarm. Lots of possibilities here. Now, what I'm going to do is modify one of my older shortcuts, my one of my favorite shortcuts. I'm not going to rebuild the whole thing today. There's actually an older video where we did create this one step by step, which I'll find and I'll put a link to that below in the description. I will also go ahead and put a link to the final shortcut from today down below in the description in case you just want to download it and use it or modify it for yourself. Now, do keep in mind you will need to be running at least iOS 16.4 in order to utilize the intercom action in the shortcut. But let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've kind of I've copied it over and uh, this is basically the shortcut right here. So it will get any events that are from, you know, on my calendar for the day. And if there's anything on my calendar, it will tell me the first event and the time that it starts. And if nothing's on the calendar, it'll tell me there's no events on the calendar today. Gets the current weather conditions, the high, the low, all that stuff. And then basically gives me this output right here that shows me all that. So if I run this here, you're gonna see it just shows me all that information. Good morning, today's date is blah, 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 blah. You can expect a high of 82. So that works really good. Again, if you use your voice on a HomePod to trigger this, it would read it back, but there's no way to like automate that to come through the HomePod. But now with intercom, we can do that. What I'm gonna do here is just basically copy all of this and put it into that um, intercom action. So if we look for intercom here, let's move this down. I'll put it right here. Um, so I'm gonna end up cutting out this one. So I'm gonna copy all of this. So you can see here, this is getting input. Well, I'll show you in a second. Let me remove that. Oh, let's see there, it crashed. So there are some bugs here. Uh, let's see where we start my day, intercom. Um, and all right, so now we're here and I'm going to paste this. Now I basically just pasted everything that we were using in that show result. I can remove this, but this is really awesome. So as you can see, this is getting all the information here, current date, um, the rounded number, uh, again, the city, um, all these different variables and stuff it's getting from all this information that we're gathering in the first part of the shortcut and is spitting that information out. So I can run this uh, let me change the HomePod. Let's do my uh, studio HomePod and you should be able to hear it right here. So let's give that a shot and run it. Oh. Let's see what happened here. Let's try. Oh, I was in my. <laughs> in the wrong studio right there. That's what happens when you have test homes and so much stuff going on. So let's try the right studio now. All right, this should work now. Should come on this HomePod over here. Good morning. Today's date is February 23rd, 2023. It currently feels like 84 degrees on this Thursday in Lexington. You can expect a high of 82 and a low of 63 for the day. There's a 0% chance of rain today. The first event on your calendar today is Macy Art Lesson After School at 3.45 p.m. Very cool. So works great and I can add more stuff to this. Uh, but let's see, let's go in here. Let's add a wait action. And, oh, did it disappear? 
Come on. And we're going to do, uh, let's do wait like 20 seconds to let that intercom kind of go through. And then we can like start playing music on our HomePod. So let's go to home. And you can even like turn on lights, open the shades. So let's see, control Watley home. I should just click on it, that's easier. Okay, let's do, uh, we can do a couple things here. So let's go to my bedroom. Actually, let's go into the studio just for demonstration. And let's do the HomePod left and our honeycomb shades. Choose next and we'll do the honeycomb shades. Maybe we want to open slightly for morning time and then we want to play some music after this runs to kind of help us wake up in the morning. Of course, you can turn on lights and do all kinds of other stuff like that. Let's choose audio and just pick something from Apple Music. Happy hour, some good feel good country music to get us going in the morning. All right, um, use current volume, that's fine. All right, good deal. So now it's gonna do that. It's gonna start playing music on that same HomePod after it uh, gives us the intercom. And let's give that a shot. Good morning. Today's date is February 23rd, 2023. It currently feels like 84 degrees on this Thursday in Lexington. You can expect a high of 82 and a low of 63 for the day. There's a 0% chance of rain today. The first event on your calendar today nice day. is see Art Lesson After School at 3.45 p.m. I don't know if you can hear. I don't want to get copyright strikes, but the music started playing and then my shades started opening once it was done. So awesome. Now, last uh, thing here just to show you. So this one right here is called Start My Day Intercom. So if you did want to automate that, just to show you real quick, um, if you want to automate that, like when you snooze your alarm, you can see I've got another one right here that I use every morning when I snooze my alarm, but let's just create a new personal. Again, these have to be done personal automations. You can't do this there, but since we already created a shortcut, it's a really easy way to, to uh, kind of automate this. So let's just go to alarm and you can do, you can choose the alarm. So I'm on my, uh, iPad here, so I don't have a lot of alarms on this one, but you can use this or any alarms, but we'll do an existing alarm. So this could be your sleep alarm, your wake up alarm. Um, so let's say is snoozed next. So you can do all those things we just did, or since we already created the, uh, the shortcut, we can just do run shortcut, choose the shortcut that we just selected, which was start my day intercom. Boom, next, ask before running, turn that off, don't ask. And there you go, when my alarm is snooze, it's gonna run that shortcut. We're done, boom, that's gonna happen automatically on our home pods now when we snooze our alarm. That is the new intercom capability coming to shortcuts in iOS 16.4. I'm super excited about this. Again, I really hope Apple finds a way to give us this capability in our home automations and home, you know, convert to shortcut as well. If that happens, I'll put an update in the comments or in the top of the video description down below. Let me know in the comments also some clever ways that you might utilize this new intercom feature in your day-to-day -day life. And if you like this video, Video, check out my automations and shortcuts playlist right over here. Also, if you want to support the channel even more, consider becoming a channel member and get access to some additional perks like our members only Discord server where we discuss shortcuts as well as all kinds of other things. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.